Another weekend, another nor'easter. I'm meteorologist Joe Marducci, and we have a winter storm watch in effect for most of South Jersey, save right along the immediate shoreline from midnight through 4 p.m. on Sunday. And let's take a look at our storm checklist here. We have been interested in this storm since the last nor'easter earlier this week, and over the past couple of days, we talked about whether the storm was on or off flooding and timing on Thursday for our Friday. We're giving you a snow map and then we're going to tweak it as we go forward in time. This storm will originate from a low pressure system that's diving from Texas into the Gulf of Mexico, meets up with another low pressure system, goes off the Carolina coast and then turns to the north and east. So let's take a look at our Friday night. First, upper 20s on the mainland, just around 30 at the shore. Mainly clear night, a seasonable night. And actually, for the evening hours, we're only falling through to 40, so actually not that bad for outdoor dining here, but it gets colder Saturday night. And then as we go into our Sunday night, we do have Colder conditions, yes, and some snow for the evening hours, the early evening. I think by the time the big game happens, we should be dry, but it's not going to be the most comfortable outside. Here's a look at our Saturday numbers, mid 40s for us all in South Jersey. Morning sun giving way to afternoon clouds. And then for Saturday night, early clouds giving way to late rain snow here across the area. Temperatures for our lows will be around 30 on the mainland, 34 at the shore. In as you get closer to shore, the more and more rain we will see with this system. So here's a look at our fight for snow. This is as of Friday evening. Majority of the models are in the camp of this low pressure system is going to be really close to the coast and that's going to blow in some warmer onshore winds. It's more of a rain or mix. That's what we saw in our last nor'easter. The North American model and the European model are painting a picture like this. Low pressure system so far offshore, our winds are actually northerly around the counterclockwise spinning low and that means we get snow for us here in South Jersey. Scenario two is what the majority of the models are saying that, hey, this low pressure system is going to be close to the coast. It's more of a northeast wind, which is blowing off of the relatively mild ocean waters. And as a result, we're talking about rain here in the area. Let's take a look at our 4 a.m. Sunday radar. You see rain and snow across the region. Take you to seven o'clock. It's starting to snow everywhere here. We do have some cold air aloft, which is good news for you snow lovers out there because last time those temperatures aloft were a little marginal. They were above freezing in spots, which really did help make it rain especially along the shore. But as we go into 10 a.m., see that rain snow line getting back into southeastern New Jersey. We'll zoom in for one o'clock. It's pretty much along the parkway, so violent snowing, but Ocean City's raining. And then as we go towards four o'clock, it ends up snow everywhere from south to north. Let's take a look at our snowfall totals. Everywhere that you're seeing the blue, three to six inches. This is a plowable event for you here. And somewhere in this Hamilton to Vineland corridor, I do believe there's going to be a nine inch amount there somewhere. Maybe it's a little bit west, but anywhere in this circle, locally nine and then along the shore here, one to three inches. So we are looking for accumulating snow everywhere in South Jersey, even at the shore. And I do believe this is probably a better shot of seeing accumulating snow than what we had with our last storm system. No coastal flooding to worry with this. Thankfully here, our tides are well below the minor flood stage. So that is good news. And as we look at our wind speeds, not really much to write home about. We'll get some northeasterly winds up to 20 miles an hour along the shore, maybe even 25. But that's pretty much in the weak nor'easter territory. We were stronger than that in our more recent one where we had sustained winds 30 to 35 at times along the shore. Here's a look at our mainland seven day forecast. Let's get you after Sunday here. We got a dry stretch of weather for Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. I am watching out for Tuesday though for a couple of showers. I do believe we are dry as of now. And then towards the end of the week, looking for a long duration system, a Thursday to Friday one, but this one looks to be wintry mix to rain. And then as we go into our Valentine's Day weekend, it is going to be cold hearted. Temperatures probably not getting above freezing. We're going to have updates for you all throughout the weekend on this winter storm. You can follow me on social media for the latest and on our website, depressiveac.com slash weather. We have a full written update for you as well as explain your videos on what nor'easters are as well as how we get coastal flooding.